Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders Report. It's Mitchell Renz here from Chat Sports, and we got some breaking news here. The Las Vegas Raiders have signed a defensive tackle, and who out there likes the big boys? I'm talking thick, two C's, because the Raiders, they just signed defensive tackle Marquan McCall, who is 6'3", 380 pounds. If that's not two C's, I don't know what is two C's. But hey, this is why you subscribe to the Raiders Report. When breaking news happens, we break it all down for you. Hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications. That way, any Raiders news happens, we make it for you. I'm literally live right now on the show. We're talking a little about Raiders general manager candidates. We're talking about Jim Harbaugh answering questions around Justin Fields. I say the Raiders signed Marquan McCall. And I see down in the comments, who the fuck is that guy? The reason why you subscribe is so you know who the fuck this guy is. So let's talk about right now the Raiders going out and signing McCall. Now, I will admit this was confirmed by insider Jordan Schultz. And McCall had 15 tackles last season, two tackles for a loss as a rookie with the Carolina Panthers. But to me, I look at him as this, 24 years old. And the Raiders, yes, they have needed defensive tackle help. And he's been a player that... He's just such a large human being that when he's out there on the field, he's going to command attention. He does need to get himself into better shape. I'm not going to get that twisted. But a UDFA out of Kentucky who had 10.5 tackles for loss and 44 stops in SEC football. To me, what the Raiders did here is this. And I used to say it all the time when I would talk about Carmen Brasillo. Remember, I would always be like, you know what? If Carmen Brasillo wants to bring in a project player, offensive lineman, or offensive line coach for the Raiders, Carmen Brasillo. If he wants to bring in a project player, let him bring in a project player and see what he can do. Rob Leonard is one of the most trusted, well-respected defensive line coaches in the NFL. And as far as I'm concerned, and like I know that we talk a lot about the Raiders interior defensive tackle group, and you know we've talked about the Raiders defense. The Raiders defense is a top 10 unit from an entire overall standpoint this season. Since Antonio Pierce has taken over, the Raiders have allowed 15.5 points per game. That's top three in the NFL. And the Raiders have been playing really solid football. And, I mean, we got to give the defensive line a little bit of credit here, don't we? They've been playing some pretty damn good football. And as it stands, you have Bilal Nichols. You have Adam Butler, John Jenkins, and Jerry Tillery. Those have been your four defensive tackles that the Silver and Black have used. Now, if you watched last week's game, against the Los Angeles Chargers. You'll obviously know that they've started to rotate Tyree Wilson as an interior defensive tackle, defensive end, which I laugh because Chugs has been begging the Raiders to do that for the entire season to kind of put him as a an inside, outside lineman role, kind of like Martellus Bennett or the Bennett brothers in general. But I do wonder, is this like the Raiders trying to tell us like, Man, either Byron Young's just never going to get there or Nesta Jade Silvera, who's a big boy, is never going to get there. So one of the things that we do here on the Raiders Sport is we ask the nation. When I was live right now, somebody said, bro, you get more views than the actual Raiders YouTube channel. And there's one reason of that. I care. I care about what the nation says. And shit, man, if, if the Raiders YouTube channel, if the Raiders Mark Davis listen to the nation... We'd be in a lot different spot overall as a franchise. That I can promise you. So if you haven't already, go down in the comments section right now. And I want you to get out your Sharpie. Get out your red pen and grade it for me. But maybe you don't grade it like my test that I had in high school. A, B, C, D, or F. For me personally, I look at this signing and it is going to look like my report card. It's going to be a C. It's an average move. I'm not going to sit up here and say... This move is going to totally transcend this Raiders defense and get us to a, a whole nother level. To me, though, I believe in Antonio Pierce. I believe in Rob Leonard. I believe in Patrick Graham. Because I believe in all three of those guys, I see a six foot three, 380 pound dude. I see a 380 pound mold of clay. Can Antonio Pierce, can Rob Leonard, can Patrick Graham shape that player to be? an actual contributor for this Las Vegas Raiders team. That's why I'm giving it a C grade. Something that I'm giving an A plus to is prize picks and shout out to them for sponsoring today's video. If anybody out there wants to get started, prize picks is daily fantasy sports made easy. And all you got to do is go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS and make sure that you use code 
CLNS for a first-time deposit match up to $100. Again, Daily Fantasy Sports made easy, and I'm a sucker for the holidays. The holidays to me, man, is it's the happiest time of the year. I walk in the house yesterday. Alex is playing Christmas music. I'm sure when Chugs would walk home, he's got the menorah, you know, totally, totally lit, like having a good time. But to me, the holidays are the most happiest time. And I love when a company and I love when a sponsor shows some love to the holidays. And right now, it's Pixmas. So what they're doing is 12 days of Pixmas, which is new promos dropping every single day. And for example, yesterday was called Kicksmas. And if you would have taken one kicker in the Monday night football game, every field goal that was made in that game, no matter if you would have taken Jake Elliott or Sanders, you would have gotten five bucks. So the fact that three field goals were made in yesterday's game, I made $15. My deal that I put down was 10 to win 160. I didn't hit the 160, but I still won $15. And I had a hell of a time playing. Hell, again, the reason why I tell all the guys out there to do prize picks is sit down with your wife, sit down with your fiance, girlfriend, mom, dad, kids. You want to teach them about sports and you want to have a good time, put like 10 bucks down. They're going to be linked in. You could say, hey, I'll give you the money if you win. And then you get to watch football three, four hours, no sweat off your back. It's an awesome, awesome thing that they got going on right now. So one more time, the link's going to be available to you all down in the comments and down in the description, pricepicks.com slash CLNS. Make sure that you use code CLNS. All right, so we're live right now on the Raiders board. If you're not watching this live, pop on over because we go live every single Monday, Tuesday, 4 p.m. Eastern time, 1 p.m. Pacific. And I see some people down in the comments talking about being live on Christmas. Oh, yeah, we're going to be live on Christmas. So as it stands right now, the Raiders defensive tackle depth chart before the signing of the Raiders going out and getting Marquan McCall was this. And I am seeing right now that McCall is being or McCall is being signed to the practice squad. So he's being added to the practice squad, which maybe the Raiders end up promoting him on against the Chiefs on Christmas Day because the two players that are on this active roster that continue to be Healthy scratch after healthy scratch. First is Nesta Jade Silvera. And I don't know if just Nesta Jade is down in the dumps. I, I don't understand why he's not getting more run. I will admit the Raiders DTs that are playing right now. And John Jenkins, Bolo, excuse me, Nichols, Adam Butler, Jerry Tillery. And now seeing a little bit with Tyree Wilson working his way in there. Like they've been playing better. And I wonder if it's more of a, we just don't have a lot of confidence in Nesta Jade Silvera or like, we don't have a lot of confidence in the third-round pick out of Alabama and Byron Young, so maybe we're trying to add somebody. Or is it looking at a giant human being and saying, that guy can take on a double team? Like, that's the type of player that we're going to need on a third and one, on a fourth and one. You want to stop the tush push? You put frickin' McCall in there at 380 pounds, and you tell him to fall down and go forward. I do wonder, is it maybe something that the Raiders are just trying to do for the future and see what type of player he is, right? Like, the Raiders defensive backs coach, Jason Simmons, he was with Carolina last season. And I know in the NFL, and yeah, it's a different position, but what if a guy like Jason Simmons was like, yo, I'm telling y'all right now, there was a guy on Carolina last year at the defensive tackle position, dude would just eat people up. And now the Raiders have a good defensive-minded staff, they're like, all right, we'll try to go out and get him. I will admit, though, any time that you bring in somebody this big, it does make me wonder... It's, is there an injury? Is there something that maybe we don't know that's going on right now with this Raiders overall unit? So here's a question that I have because the Raiders defense has been playing pretty damn well this season, right? Like, if you would have told me the Raiders would have a top 10 defense this year, what do you think our record would be? I know this, it wouldn't be 6-8. and eight. But one of the things that is going to be coming up this offseason is we're going to be talking about free agency. We're going to be talking about the draft. We're going to talk about free agents that you should bring back, maybe players that you should cut. And I do think when you look at overall defensive needs, it is a way that a team gets better. I don't know if it's going to be Champ Kelly, Antonio Pierce, but what I do know is that we're going to have to replace players on that defense. So what is the bigger defensive need this offseason? The biggest need? Defensive tackle, corner, linebacker, safety, or is it edge? I like right now what the Raiders have at edge. Safety is a pretty strong unit. I would say for me, cornerback defensive tackle are the top two areas that the Raiders are looking at. And the one of the reasons why I get so angry when fans say the season's over, I'm not watching anymore. These final three games, whether the Raiders are in it or not, 
are so important in terms of what guys maybe get a contract extension. Maybe a guy like Marquan McCall over these final three games can prove himself and then get that extra contract, and then he could be a, a contributing player to this Raiders team. These final three weeks are important. So the reason why that we are making this video and the reason why we are live breaking it all down for you, it's because the Las Vegas Raiders have signed defensive tackle Marquan McCall to the practice squad. He is a big, big dude at 6'3", 380 pounds, four pressures, three tackles for loss, three QB hits, 15 tackles in 16 games last season as a rookie on the Carolina Panthers. He played in 185 snaps. SEC football, a UDFA, can Antonio Pierce, Patrick Graham, and Rob Leonard mold 380 pounds into a good player. I have been just, somebody did just text me and say, just so you know, he did lose a little bit of weight. So I don't know if he's still at 380. They're telling me he might be around 360, 365. Either way, that's the biggest defensive tackle on this Raiders team. I'm excited to see him. I want to see him out there on the field. And who knows, we might even see him on Christmas against the Kansas City Chiefs. To make sure that you stay up to date on all things going on around the silver and black, hit me up on IG. Hit me up on Twitter. I'm at MitchellRens365. And if anybody missed my video on Justin Fields and some of the players telling me that, hey, I wouldn't mind going out and trading for him, I put out a video on IG at MitchellRens365 with some trade ideas. Go check it out. I'm curious to see what you guys have to say. One more time, McCall, welcome to the nation. Hopefully you prove to be a good signing.